Today we're in the Op Gaylord Opryland Hotel, which is becoming one of my favorite places to go and visit and see. Me too. Yeah. We thought we'd come down here because they got all their Christmas lights and stuff up. We thought we'd come check it out. They have poinsettias everywhere too. Yeah. So lots of different pretty Christmassy touches in here. I like Plus, it. I don't think we've ever been here at when it gets dark and the hotel no. conservatories are just lit up naturally with their other lights. So we're looking forward to seeing that too. Yeah. Here's some of those poinsettias Lindsay was talking about. I've always wondered about this. Like, how many times do you think people accidentally step into this fountain because it's like level with the ground and there's nothing stopping you from falling in? Yeah, even more poinsettias right in front of this little lion fountain. The other thing is all the lights just popped on. Still got a while before it's dark. My little monkey friend that I found last time I was here is now holding a little Christmas ornament. I wonder if the other little moss animals have anything new they're doing. Some light up Christmas trees and presents. We're gonna keep moving on. I'm real excited to discover what kind of decorations they have, so let's keep exploring. Uh-oh, just like my friends at Gatlinburg, they got a snowman here, at least one snowman. I wonder if this is gonna be a thing throughout. <laughs> I hope it is, but I have a feeling this one's just a one-off. Well, what do you think? Are you hoping that we get to count some more snowmen? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> I like these, I don't know, plastic snowmen? Resin, maybe. I'm not sure what they're made out of. The look at the exit. I shouldn't say the exit. Look at the escalators leading out of the Cascades section. Look at that giant wreath they have hanging up there. I wonder how hard it is for him to get all these gigantic ornaments and decorations hung up in here. It's an awful lot of lights. And just thinking about two hours, it'll be dark outside and this place will be lit up real nice. It's quite a little Christmas tree there that they've uh, made out of just different sized globes covered in lights. It's pretty big. Yeah, I've always really liked that waterfall too. The only problem with it is it makes this whole Cascades area really, really loud. It's hard to hear. And they definitely have some decorations up here. You know, all this garland, nice Christmas ribbons. But there's not quite as much stuff over in this particular, uh, I don't know what you call it, dome? That's what I always call them. These giant ornaments seem very, very Nashville here. <laughs> Fits in really well with this city. And they're huge, man. This one's really big. It's probably, I don't know, eight foot wide maybe? Lindsay told me that was called a treble clef. She actually, she, she said it correctly. I probably just said it wrong. But I don't know what they're called just in general. What are just the little, what's the name for the little musical notes or the notations? American Craft Tavern's finally open. Every time I've been here, it's been closed. Now I just have to make the decision as to whether or not I want to go in there and get a beer. Not right now, maybe later. <laughs> it's a point set of Christmas tree. Hey, let's see, what do they got for presents here? Are they made out of cardboard or wood? Uh, very thin wood. Very thin wood. Yeah, this place has just like the best walking paths. It just kind of walk around, explore. See what you can see? All kinds of different little plants and trees. I don't know what any of them are. But I don't think you have to know what they are to enjoy them. Ooh, some Christmas presents. I wonder if that thing lights up or not. Well, they even have a bunch of decorations up for the riverboat. Look at this one, the elf fishing. I don't know if he's using candy canes as bait or what. That's what he's got in his hand. But if you look a little bit further up the river or down the river, you can see some of Santa's list, naughty or nice list. I don't know what he's doing hanging them in the tree. You would think he would need it. And just some more decorations hanging up here in the Delta Atrium. Quite nice up here, quite nice. Gaylord Opera Land's a country Christmas. Everything Christmas. I'm gonna head in here because I believe my daughter wants to get out a shirt out of one of the shops that are right inside here. Oh wow, look at all the presents they got sitting on the clock tower. Or the clock. Uh, 
as you can see, it's a little bit after four. It's not going to be dark for about another hour. I want to come over here and look at all these point centers and print presents. I find my family. I think they left me and moved on. They were annoyed with how long I was taking. I want this in the worst way. It also really makes me want like an Elvis Funko Pop. Do you think they have any? <gasps> oh, they must. They, they must. must have an Elvis Funko Pop. If they Pops. don't, there's one in the making. For yeah, let's see the shirt you've been telling me about for months. Live. Love. Oh, love Matt Nashville Music City. Nice. They didn't have the little Elvis shirt. They did have them in shirts, but they were little baby shirts, and that's all they had. Let's see the cup. You bought a cup too. It's bubble wrap. Look at the bubble wrap cup. I have no idea what it looks like. Can't see through the bubble wrap. Oh my, that must be the private event. It's the Grinch's dog going down there. Yeah, we can't get down there. It's closed for us. <laughs> That's hilarious. See if he'll wave at me. Nope, turn his back. Oh man, look at that tree. That is bright, bright. That's where that, uh, there used to be a fountain there or something. I'm gonna have to head over there and scope that out. Yeah, the riverboat. Is he really? Yeah. The riverboat's just continuing on. This just looks so good in here. This place is already amazing. And you add all these Christmas lights, it's getting better. Oh, we have the Grinch now. The Grinch and the Grinch dog. I actually got the little doggy to wave at me earlier. Look. Oh, he's waving again. Hey. How about the Grinch? He's very Grinchy. Oh, that's about the happiest looking Grinch I've ever seen. It's hard to see, but they have these little pop-up bars all over. I'm looking for one that has something called Tennessee Ale. I saw it advertised in a restaurant here, but I haven't seen it in these little pop-up bars. There's some more of the decorations you could see from the riverboat ride if you were riding it. Well, I can see it. I'm not on the riverboat ride, but a bunch of stockings. Yeah, here's just a shot looking back at that little, I don't know, I call it like a little town. Oh, and these beautiful trees. Beautiful little Christmas trees here. Oh, we gotta keep going. We gotta keep looking at things. Well, I spotted a couple little gingerbread men. Also decorations you see on the riverboat ride. Any good business has upcharge beer places. This reminds me of Halloween Horror Nights. Except, I gotta tell you, the crowd here is a lot better behaved. You see these Christmas bulbs? This one's like the size of my head. <laughs> and then look at that, they have full-size teddy bears up there. Aww. Yeah. He's so cute. They probably put them up there so nobody would take him. Yeah, that, actually, that's a good point because I don't see any, you know, kid level. <laughs> well, they're not lit up really well, but they got some awesome penguins down here that you would see if you were riding the riverboat or if you're standing at a strange angle like I am at the moment. Here's a much better look at those penguins and their color changing waterfall. It apparently doesn't want to change color now that I'm looking at it. Oh, there it goes. I've said this before, but this is very Bourbon Street-ish. I think that's, I wonder if that's the look they are going for, or maybe I just have no idea what Bourbon Street looks like, huh? That could be. Oh, wow, you're not gonna believe this. Look at all these Whoville gingerbread houses. Wow, look at that. I want one of these. front of the marketplace. Yeah, I see the Grinch. Do you think he's made out of fondant? Like the whole thing? Is that edible? Is this frosting? Or is it drywall compound mixed with latex paint? Oh my gosh, look at these. Chocolate statues. These things are edible. They're a little bit expensive. I think the large ones are $26. That's a large one. I think that's a small one on top of it. This guy here is my favorite. Oh wait, maybe I spoke too soon. I think the snowman with the giant pine cone is my favorite. Lindsay's getting worn out from all this walking. What do you think? Isn't this romantic down here? This lighted path through the Opryland Hotel? Oh yeah. There's actually another Gaylord resort similar to this in Florida, in Kissimmee. We haven't been. 
but I know it's there, and I think, I think I'm gonna make it a priority to go visit it next time I'm in Florida. I've seen like, I think they've got like four or five of these pop-up bars. It's a very festive jacket that guy's got. <laughs> Jared decided to get himself a beer. He's looking for the Tennessee Ale. I wonder if he found it. Well, I wasn't able to find any Tennessee Ale, but I did stop at one of the little pop-up bars they had, and I got a 10-barrel Pray for Snow, I think is what it was called. It's $7 for this, so that's not too bad. And it's a, it's really, wow, that's really good. I like that a lot. Too bad I can't go get another one. It's very caramely, a little bit of coffee. Um, a little bitter, but not real hoppy bitter. It's kind of like, I don't know how to, more like a, like an almondy, I'm not almond, but sort of a bitter nut bitter. But that's really good. Oh man, it is really crowded here tonight. Anywhere that we kind of wanted to sit and relax, somebody was already sitting in. But I would, luckily, we were able to find this little bench. I think that's going to do it for us here at Gaylord Opryland Hotel for their country Christmas festivities. We got to see some cool decorations, got to see the Grinch, got to see a uh, gingerbread Whoville. <laughs> so, all right, thanks for watching. As you can see, they usually have guitars and various other instruments inside their revolving door. But those have been replaced with Christmas trees and other and giant Christmas ornaments. Some bonus trees here on the way out. And back to our car. Oh look, they even have some fires going for you to warm your hands. Although I don't really think it's that cold here. here. That is a bright, bright tree. 